Yo, what is happening, little lizards? It's your boy Lemon Raptor Patrick back at it again. I'm sorry that I'm being really quiet right now. It's about 10 o'clock at night, and I really don't want to be too. So I kind of want to keep it kind of quiet. I know I'm still kind of loud anyway, but anyway, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to ninja defuse on the map standoff. So first of all, I'm gonna show you the class that I would use on a private game or just online in general. Uh, that I do use for ninja defusing. So I do use the AN94 with a suppressor with no camos. Be the reason for that is so you can't be det like you can't see the camos. And then I would use a ballistic knife just in case for backup. Then I would use Ghost, Cold Blooded, Dead Silence, and Awareness as your perks, just because these like for awareness you can hear someone moving towards the bomb. Dead Silence uh, prevents you from being heard when you're moving. Cold blood allows you to not be seen, and ghost is, can't, allows you to not be detected by radar, etc. Then you have two concussions and a combat X. The reason for the concussion and the combat X is, is so we can use it to. Anyway, without further ado, let's get right into this. Uh, I think seals are the ones that ninja defuse first. Um, so this map is actually a really no well known map for ninja defusing. I'm pretty sure a lot of you may know these spots, but they have helped me so much in ninja defusing in general. So yeah. Oh no, we do have the bomb. Hold on, let me change the team. There we go. We will spawn next round. Alright, there we go. I mean, it didn't really matter what side we were on, but I I just wanted to show you guys. Defend the objectives. Defending point of view because you spawn in different locations. Uh, not right now. Okay, so the first one we're gonna be going to is B. So th this spot right here, it is considered a ninja defusing spot, but it is the most obvious spot, and you will die pretty much any time you spawn here, unless you're a noob that is planning. So I don't rec recommend that spot right there, as you can be shot from there, there, and over here. So that's one of the worst spots for the B bomb, but it still works. It just you have to be really stupid not to see that person there. Up here, we're going to go right here and crouch into the corner, looking down at the bomb. We're going to put out our concussion, and we're going to look directly at the bomb. So when you see someone moving, um, you got to protect, you got to, if there's no one around, if it's the last person, then yeah, sneak up behind him wherever he's planning, and just defuse it. Another spot that's pretty good for this map is right here. Kind of, that's where you have awareness, so you can hear it behind, that way you can move. But you got to be really quiet when moving around right here. So these are basically the only spots that I know for the B-bomb for the most part. I mean, there are pretty much other spots that you can probably use. But those are the main three that I do use. So we're moving on to the A-bomb now. Uh, one of the good spots, there's a lot of good spots over here. And one of them happens to be a uh, statue. Oh, wait, hold on. This, is, this might take a minute. Oh, crap. This is uh, too high sensitivity. Okay, so you're going to be up here, and you're going to have a statue. Now, this is pretty obvious, or even you can prone, I think. Can you? I don't think you can prone up here. Anyway, uh, okay. Yeah, and then, so if they don't see you there, they're pretty retarded, and you can defuse. Another good spot for this location is right here in this corner. Um, you're pretty hidden. I would have to go in third-person point of view, which I can't, because I don't have anyone else spectating me, so... It's kind of difficult, but this spot is pretty hidden. It's a pretty good spot for this map. And over here is another good spot. You can have yourself either looking towards the bomb, but that kind of gives it away too much. So kind of have awareness and p hide yourself inside the flowers, and then you should be good. Because your feet will go into the hay. Um, there should be another spot. I mean, you could be like right here, but that person has to be pretty stupid. And then right here is, an is the other good spot. These are very good spots. I mean, it isn't really much for this, uh, for this, but... Oh, yeah. I forgot about this spot for B-Bomb. I forgot about this one. Ugh. So, you can come up here. Oh, wait. You... You come right here, and you camp like that. Now, this is similar to that spot over there, except you're not proning because your feet will go through the wall. But, yeah. So I hope this video did help you guys learn how to ninja defuse on the map standoff. If you guys want me to do another episode on a different map, um, be sure to let me know. Um, next time I'll try to have one of my buddies get on. But it is so late. It's like almost 11 o'clock. So, um, and I have school tomorrow. 
So yeah. Bro, thank you guys again. <laughs>